It's the truth. There's art, and there's craft, and then there's macrame craft art. Rave art is like, I as a painter, here is my boring. Craft is like, look, a rug. Everyone hates rugs, apart from rug lights. Whereas macrame craft art is like, I as macrame to jail for giraffes to live in, and the macrame makes them so itchy they're too busy scratching themselves to even think about escaping or raping each other. And if they do escape, they would be taken to the macrame giraffe guillotine. Now that is macrame craft art. If you took an owl, for example, an art person would be like, look, I has painted a painting of an owl. A craft person would be like, look, I has made a house for the owl out of matchsticks. Whereas macrame is like, I has macrame an owl into a giant macrame owl net that is used to trap Russian helicopters which have been secretly logging our native forests. And when the Russians get pissed off and launch missiles at us, the macrame owl nets will rebound the missiles and ruin their shit like Chernobyl. Now that is an amazing example of macrame craft art. Time for a brief history lesson. Macrame backdates to the 13th century when Arabs were into it. Sailors started doing it so they didn't die of a boredom at sea. Oh, I is macrame and now. Fuck me too. Yay! Yay! Thanks to the sailors, macrame soon spread all over the world. It plateaued a bit in the something century when the gorilla plague was going ape shit, but was revived by communist hippies doing a craft art movement in the 60s. Now macrame is easily the most popular craft art in the world. Kids is macrame on Wii, which is totally cool. Prime ministers sometimes use a macrame to make important decisions. And Americans say macrame instead of macrame, which is funny. So what is the future of a macrame? Well, when the earth is ruined and all the polar bears are finally dead, weirdos will discover the earth, find macrame, and it'll start all over again. <laughs> it's the truth.